Morning everybody, AmpReparGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So we have another Heathkit SB220. This is the next amp in line to be repaired, modified. So it's getting the Harbach filter board kit. I'll put the meter protection diodes in, reverse connected diodes across the back of the meter. The air variable looks good on the plate side. Load one's good too. Change the parasitic suppressors. Change the plate blocking cap. The contacts look good on the band switch. So I will clean those with the Oxy Gold. I'll flip it over and I'll show you the bottom. I'll be right back and then the back. See you soon. Okay, so here's the bottom. Oil the fan. Check this resistor. Make sure it's okay. Check the value of that. Check the value of that. I will change these two electrolytic caps right here. Check the value of that resistor. I will clean the TR relay. Check the SU239s. I think they were okay. Check them again really quick. Always take a new new PL259 or close to new. These wear out over time. I plug them in and it's like my test connector. Yep, that one's nice and tight. That one's nice and tight. Because over time, the tolerance changes. It starts to shave the perimeter off. So I have to. I work on so many amps that I end up needing to use another one. Eventually. Okay, so I will show you the back. I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the back. I will change this mica cap, that mica cap, and the grid loading resistors are like buried back there. I've never seen this. Actually, there's one right there, and the other one's way back there. Leads are way longer than they need to be. You want to keep these leads as short as possible. On the mica cap and the 33 ohm grid loading resistor. So it'll get new resistors. I will compress the clips carefully and clean them with the oxy gold. So you have to be really careful if you're going to do that because you can end up squeezing them too much and then they pop right out of the socket or you break them. And then you'll have to change the whole socket. I did that back in the day when I first got into these years and years and years ago. So, you learn from your mistakes, but it's a pain when you have to do it. It's a hard lesson. So that switch will get cleaned. So that's that. I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the Harbach kit. So, and I'll say it again. They come as a kit. They do not come assembled. So I have to assemble it and then take apart the amplifier to install it so i will be back very soon see you guys in a bit stay tuned hey everybody amprepairguy.com and i'm back with the completed heath kit sb200 so i'll go over everything i did really quick first off the the knob for changing the band was extremely stiff. Must have had some serious corrosion or something. So I ended up oiling it and I worked it back and forth a whole bunch of times. Now it's good. So I ended up putting the Harbach filter cap board in. Zip tied the wires. Your protection diodes reverse connected. Change the meter lamp. Change the doorknob cap for the plate blocker. Here's the stock one. I always change them out. These are prone to failing. It's like someone hit it with the soldering iron. Rewind the parasitic suppressors. You always want to keep those leads as short as possible. So with the position of the doorknob, one goes below, one goes above. So I don't have both resistors up top or both down below. So once again, lead length is nice and short. Everything is soldered really well. Clean the rotary switches. This had a defect. This wire was actually not on the groove and it was pushed between the form and the phenolic spacer slash standoff. So I pushed it back and there was a big gap here. So now that's all set. Oil the fan. 
The air variable looks good. Connection's tight over here. So I had to add a, a nut here and a internal tooth crush washer slash lock washer because the stud was too long. So that's all set. Let me turn it over and I'll show you the bottom. Oh, one last thing. I also put some heat shrink on the wiring to give it some extra insulation. This is old cloth type wiring, so gives it extra protection between the insulation of the wire and the chassis here. Yeah, I'll flip it over. I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the bottom. I zip tied the B positive wire from the plate supply so it's not flopping around. This connection I've seen break because of that. So I changed this electrolytic. You know, these if these were the if this was the PIO type, I would have changed it, but it's fine. It is within tolerance, so I left that alone. Clean the TR relay with deoxid gold. Check the resistor, this resistor, that resistor, and that resistor. Uh, the tolerance, they're all within tolerance. Safety chokes okay. Clean the multimeter switch with deoxid gold. So this thing is all set. I'll show you the back. Uh, I will be right back. See you in a second. Okay, so here's the back. I had checked the SO239 connectors. They have a good grip on the center pin of a PL259. So they are all set. I changed the grid loading resistors. Put new 2 watt Allen Bradley carbon composition 33 ohm resistors in. One here, one here. Lead lengths are super short. Replace the mica cap over here and over here between the grid and ground on each tube. I also shorten the leads between this cap that connects to the grid of one tube and the terminal strip here. The leads were like really long. So everything else checked out. I cleaned the input rotary switch with deoxy gold and I compressed the clips and the sockets and cleaned them with deoxy gold. So if you need an amplifier repaired Feel free to give me a call. I don't check my email too much, so it's best to just text me or call if you need an amplifier sent in for repair. My website is amprepairguy.com and my phone number is 203-892-4119. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And this amplifier got a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. The original tubes, uh, one had an issue, it had flashed at some point, and they had, uh, the other one had low, e uh, low emissions, so they had to be replaced. So, I don't have them shown in the video here, but um, I highly recommend Penta Labs. Great people over there, great customer service, can't say enough uh, good stuff about them, really cool people. So, thanks for watching, more amps to come, take care. 73.